buenas noches. Good evening, mister. ¿Qué tal? Buenas noches. Buenas noches. ¿Cómo van? Great, it's a great. Ok, qué bueno, qué bueno. Bye. Ya solo nos quedan tres clases y terminamos con el curso. Espero hayan avanzado con la plataforma. Hoy vamos a iniciar con la unidad 4. Ok. Vaya. Recuerden las mismas instrucciones. Si tienen la cámara eh, apagada, por favor, enciéndanla. Si no están participando, desactiven el, um, el micrófono para que podamos escuchar a los demás. Y... Si tienen alguna consulta, alguna duda, no duden en hacerla. Con gusto se la voy a aclarar. ¿Se recuerdan cuál fue nuestro tema anterior? Hola. Hola. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, Nelson. ¿Se recuerdan Nelson. cuál fue nuestra, eh, nuestro tema anterior? Sí, no, tal vez. The simple past. El simple past. Simple past. Yes. Oh. W okay. question. WH questions in the simple past. W, w is correct. Yes. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, Nelson, select one of your classmates, ask a WH question. Uh, right now, you are going to use your own ideas. Okay. So we're, uh, okay. we are not going to read the sentences anymore. You are going to produce your own sentences. Before moving forward, yes. I would like to write down okay. today's topic, which is the past of B. That's going to be basically our main topic, the past of B. Okay. Uh, thank you, Nelson. Select one of your classmates, please. Okay, Barosity. I don't know what the is. Guadid, recuerde, Guadid. Pero ese era, digamos. What did, what did you, what did you go? What did you go? Night? Are you sure? What did you went? No. When es el pasado. Se me olvida. Uh -huh. sería, sería en presente siempre. Sería en presente siempre. Sí. No, que sea en pasado. No, yo lo tengo que responder en pasado. Al ocupar el did, okay. ya ocupamos el verbo en presente. Ajá. Uh -huh. It doesn't change. Okay. Thank you, Verosley. What did you visit the last, the last weekend? Creo que te estás ah. confundiendo con el WH words. Ahí creo que no sabes cuándo y cómo usarlo. What, what's the meaning okay. of what's the meaning of what? Uh, I'm sorry. What's the meaning of what? ¿Qué? Uh -huh. What's the meaning of when? ¿Cuándo? What's the meaning of where? Where is on where? Uh -huh. Donde. What's the meaning okay. of who? Entonces sería. What's the meaning of um, who? When you when when did you go the last week? Mm -hmm. Así sería, teacher. When, when do you go? 
No, oh, where do you where? go? Where? where do you go where the do last you go? weekend? Where do you go? Or where do you visit the last, the last no. weekend? Who do you visit? Or what place do you visit? Okay. What place do you visit the last weekend, Marosi? Mm -hmm. Um, I um, visited. Uh huh. Ya sería el pasado. Mm -hmm. Um, play place place del lugar, verdad? Mm -hmm. I visited. The Metro Centro San Miguel. Metro Centro Mall. Metro Centro Mall. Mm -hmm. Okay, but also you select uh, one of your classmates. Um, uh, Gabriel. Okay. Gabriel, Gabriel, are you ready? Tell me. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Good evening. Um, the question is, uh, what did you eat the yesterday in the in the morning? What do you do? What? O sea, le quiero preguntar, profe, que qué comió ayer en la noche. Ajá. ¿Cómo sería? Eh, eh, what... Uy, el pasado de... Did... Iren. No. Iten, vea, profe. Iten. No. No, iten. Mm, what did... You eat uh -huh. yesterday yesterday in the morning. Yes. What no, do you no, what no, do you no. eat yesterday in the morning? Correct. Uh huh. I eat a a mm -hmm. I ate. Um, uh, I ate. Um. Cream, beans, chocolate, chocolate. I drink chocolate. Chocolate. Por qué chocolate? Chocolate. Okay, chocolate and uh -huh. and bread. And bread. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you. Delicious. Okay. okay, Gabriel. Select one of your classmates, please. Okay, Jean Lisette. Okay. Excellent. What did you do on um, last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Uh -huh. I did um, laundry. Uh huh. What else? And um, I visited my my cousin. And uh -huh. play with, with them. Okay. Thank you. Jean, select one of your classmates. Um, Amalia. Mm -hmm. Amalia, hey. where did you run last week? Did you? Run. 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 Mm -hmm. Correr. Okay. I I running eh, the. What is the past of run? I the running in the past mm -hmm. is. Um, ay, se me olvidado. What is the past Wong. of run? Run. Run, 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 run,
six o'clock in the morning. Okay, select one classmate, please. Uh, Nelson? Nelson ya participó, another person. Uh, okay. Uh, Miriam? Miriam Escobar. Mm -hmm. Hello. Where did you go over the weekend? I... I went. Mm -hmm. um, um, I went to a supermarket. I went to a supermarket. Okay, Lillian, select one classmate. Uh huh. Teacher, me lo llevo a casa. Ah, okay. Don't worry. Um, Thank you. Carlos, are you here? Heriberto. Okay, volunteers. Hello. Si quiere, profe, yo. Thank you. En pasado, ¿verdad? Siempre. Yes. Who did who did you marry the da da ¿Cómo fue el año pasado, bro? The last year. The last year. Who did who you marry the last year? Do you marry uh, did you marry the last year? Mm -hmm. uh, usted escoge a quién, bro? Okay, Gabriel, uh, answer that question. Repeat, please. Who did you marry the last year? Married. Me casar. Yeah. I don't know <laughs> who married the last year. <laughs> okay, you can es say I didn't, I didn't I didn't marry anybody. I didn't marry anybody. No me casé con nadie. <laughs> okay. Gabriel, select one classmate. <laughs> okay, Marcos. Mm -hmm. Um Well, where did go the last uh, month? Where did you go the last month? Repeat, please. Excuse me. Where did you go the last month? Month. I go. I went. Mm -hmm. To the um, Guatemala City. To Guatemala City. The last month. The last month. Okay. Marco, select one classmate. Okay. Janet Lisset. Mm -hmm. Jenny. Okay. Okay. We say. Oh, did you live in that last year? Who do you live with? Live. West. 
the with. last year. Who do you live with Who the last live year? With the last year. Mm -hmm. El, I lived mm -hmm. with my mom and my little brother. Okay. The last year. Okay. Select one classmate. Miriam. Miriam. Hello. What did you eat the last third day? I ate. Mm -hmm. um, repeat, please. What did you eat in the last third day? What did you eat the last birthday? I ate mm -hmm. um, last birthday. Okay. What do you, what do you eat the last birthday? I'm sorry. I ate mm -hmm. with my family last birthday. I ate with my family. Okay. Select one classmate, Miriam. Berosley. Um, Berosley. Hello. What did What did you drink last night? Mm -hmm. I am um, draw. What is the oh, past of drink? Drink dread. Mm, no. ¿Cuál es, profe? <laughs> drink. 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 Dream. I dream. I, I repeat, drink. Repeat, please, por favor, Miriam. What do you drink? What did you drink the last, last night? What do you drink that uh, last night? I dream. I drank. I dream. I drank. Um, um, frozen watermelon. Okay. Thank you. Alejandro, are you here? Alejandro? Okay, Tiffany, are you here? Okay, Berosli, select one classmate. Leticia Margarita. Mm -hmm. Leticia, are you here? Leticia. Okay, select another one. Elisa Maria. Mm -hmm. Are you here? Classmate. No. <laughs> okay, select another one. Okay. Mm. Uh, really? Cornell? Mm -hmm. Are you here? No. <laughs> um, select another one. Erika Norma. Erika Norma Hueso de Guevara. Mm -hmm. No? Can you hear? No. Marcos Alberto Palacio Herrera? I'm here. Oh, okay. Good evening, classmate. Good evening. <laughs> um, 
uh, what did you go in the last vacation? What did you go or where did you go? Uh, I'm sorry, where? Where did you go the last vacation? Vacation. Las Vacation. 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 Mm -hmm. And I go. To... What's the past of go? Is... When. 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 When or when? When. 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 I went what? to the beach the the last vacation for three days. For three days, okay. Select one classmate, please. Okay, Nelson Vladimir. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Um. Where do you live? Um, no, yes, I don't know where, where, where do you live in this, this last year? I, I live, I live in, I lived, I live, I live, lived, lived, yes, in San Juan of Pico. <laughs> In San Juan Pico. Okay. Okay. Thank you guys for your participation. You were doing great, actually. And now we're going to move to the main topic, which is was and where. When do we use was and where? We use was and where to talk about actions in the past. To talk about actions in the past. The same as when we use did okay but in this time we are going to um, follow a different structure so i'm going to show you my computer screen once you can see it just let me know just give me one second one minute actually teacher yes i had a question yes don't, don't use did and was in the same time. Le quise decir que si no vamos a usar did y was en el mismo tiempo. Mm, no. No. Because was and where those are auxiliary verbs. So, you are going to see some example. Arely dice, hola, Lili, estoy teniendo problemas. Teacher, aún no llego a casa, dice Lilian. Eh, Elizabeth, buenas noches, teacher, solo de oyente. Okay. Thank you. Now, let me go ahead and share my computer screen, and we, we are going to see when, when do we use those structures. So, let's see. I think it's loading, by the way. Okay, when can you see my computer screen or not yet? Not yet. Oh, not yes. Yet. yes. Okay. Yes. Thank yes. you so much, sure. Marcos, can you please read the objective for today's lesson? Okay, teacher. By the end of this class, we will be able to form positive and negative statements with the past of B. Additionally, you will practice a conversation with illustrators how his topic is used in a real life series. Sirain. Setting. Setting. Yes. Thanks. Okay. Let's move forward. 
We're going to listen to a video here related to statements with the past of be. We're going to go deeply on those examples. Once you can listen to the video, just let me know. I think it's loading action. Once you can listen to the video, just let me know, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you can you listen to? Yes, yeah, I can see. And negative statements yes. using listen. the concept of B. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes. I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions wasn't equals was not weren't equals were not we can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be subject plus was or where plus complement we need to remember the following for the pronouns you we and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally, we will include a complement, born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First, we need to add a subject, we. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally, we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now, let's talk about making negative statements in the past with be. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with be. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not. 
but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement, born in the US. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the US in 1998. First, we need to add the subject day. Then we'll use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not. But we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement and the US in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with being about yourself, friends, and family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay guys, thank you so much. Now let me go ahead and continue sharing. Let me go ahead and see. Okay, uh, can you see my computer screen? The PowerPoint presentation? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, cool. yes you sure. Uh, before moving forward, because I want you to have this information on, uh, on your chat, I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to send those pictures to the group. There you will have access to this information. Just give me one minute. Okay, I'm going to take a picture for you to get access. Let's see, there you have the first picture. By the way, I want to select two uh, students to follow the conversation I sent on the chat, on WhatsApp's chat. Uh, let's see. I want to listen to Berosli and Marcos. Ready? Hello, hello. Están el, en el chat, teacher? Yes, I sent the conversation to the chat. Right now, what mm -hmm. I'm doing is sending those, I mean, these images for you to have the information on the chat too. Teacher, in el WhatsApp or in el chat de que no me aparece. Ah, en WhatsApp. Permítame. Permítame, permítame. A ver. Okay. There you have. There you have all the images. Okay. And I also sent you the conversation. Ready? Es es aquí, verdad, teacher? Es la de la... No, espérame, espérame. No lo encuentro. Ah, ya la encontré. Where were you born, was... Melissa? Ah, esa es. Yes. Ah, espérame. Espérame, espérame, espérame. Ah, aquí está. Uh -huh. Where... Oh, oh. No, Let espérame. me stop sharing. And then no, we're no. going to continue. Okay. Uh, let me... Try to find it first, and then we can go back to you. Amalia, are you ready? Amalia and Marcos. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, uh, uh, yes. Yep. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh. So you were born in the U.S.? No, I come here in... Right? 1989. Oh, no. 1999. 1999. Oh, you were already young. Yes. I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. 
your English is pretty good too. Yes, but it was born here. Okay, thank you. Now I want to listen to Miriam and Gabriel. Gabriel, you are going to start. You are Chuck and Miriam is Melissa. Okay. Uh, where were you born, Melissa? Okay, I was born in Korea. In Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. No, I came here in 1999. 1999. Um, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to the college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took class for two years here. English classes for two years here. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah. But I was born here. Okay. Thank you. Teacher, I ready. Al fin lo encontré. Okay, thank you. But Osley and let's see, I need another volunteer. Yes, I am. Um... Okay. So Nelson is ready. So Nelson, okay. you are going to be Chuck. Okay. But Osley, Melissa. Okay. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Korea. Oh, so you... Korea. Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were very young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English class for two years first. Well, your English is really uh -huh. good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay. Thank you, Nelson. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you, guys. Now, uh, let me go ahead and share my computer screen once you can see it. Just let me know, please. Okay. So, can you see it or not yet? Yes. Yes, sir. I see. Great. As you, as you listen to on the, on the video. Um, the person was explaining, okay, when to use it, how to use it, what the structure is, okay, and now we're going to just put in practice what we have heard. Um, basically, if you see, the bird to be, yes, Gabriel. One question, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, we can use the was how to uh, the past of verb to be and how to uh, auxiliar. Me mm, perdiste. Uh, my dude is uh, was is the past of verb uh, be. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And in we can use a to a whole a auxiliar. We can use a was and were as auxiliary verbs too. Mm -hmm. Okay. The the was how has uh, the two function. Was has two functions. Yes as a verb and also as an okay. auxiliary verb. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.
if you see, we have the verb to be in the present, right? So in the present, you say, I am, she is, he is, it is. Okay? And these are third person singular. First person singular. And you also have the plural forms. Third person plural, first person plural, and second person plural. So in the past, you say they are, we are, you are. And this one, am beca becomes was. In the present, you say I am, but in the, in the past, you say I was. Okay. In the present, you say he is, she is, and it is, but in the past, you say she was, he was, and he was. Clear? Yes, all right. Yes. Clear, teacher. teacher. Okay. In the present, you say they are, we, we are, you are. But in the past, you say they were, we were, and you were. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's continue. So, there you have, let's see, there you have some examples that we can use. Let's see. Okay, just teacher, me... tengo... mm -hmm. I have I have a, 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 a question. Yes, um, what's your question? Is the is the is the um, is the, is the, me confundo con el sonido de, de donde y del verbo cero estar en pasado. Mm, eh, la, la pronunciación. La primera, eso es. Es la misma. Where and where. Solo la, la, le, el deletreo cambia. Uh -huh. O sea, que decimos where and where. Uh -huh. diría, yes. where were you? Uh -huh. Where were you? Exactly. If you see, these are the questions, right? Uh, if I ask you, Marcos, where were you? This is going to be your answer. Okay. So, question for Marco. Marcos, where were you? I was with my family in the... In from, the... I was <laughs> with my friends from high school. You're just reading. If you see, if I, if I ask you, where were you? Your answer will be, I was. Is that clear? Well, yes. Okay. Uh, teacher, sería, uh, I was in, in, in negativo, ¿verdad? In negative form, yes. Okay. In negative form, yes. Okay. Let me go ahead and check something here real quick. Give me one moment. All right. So keep in mind that we have positive and negative statements. Here you have the first option. You have affirmative negative and we have interrog interrogative is that clear 
So, for affirmative sentences, you can say, I was at home. I was in the park. Negative, I wasn't in the park. Question, was I in the park? Clear? I was in the park. I wasn't in the park. Was I in the park? If you see, was is at the beginning of the question. And this one is acting as an auxiliary verb. Next oh. sentence. Uh -huh. Ahí sería como un auxiliar. Ahí funciona como un auxiliar, no como un verbo. Next como sentence. Uh -huh. Exacto. Here you have, you were at work. You weren't at work. Were you at work? Okay. Here, if you see, you have he, she, and it with was, correct? So you can say he, she, and it was happy. Okay. He, she, and it wasn't happy. Was he, she, and it happy? Clear? Yes, clear. All right. And we have with we, you, and they. So, we, you, and they were intelligent. We, you, and they weren't intelligent. Were we, you and they, intelligent? Clear? Yes, clear. Questions so far? Do you mm. have any questions? No sé que solo intercambiamos siempre el, el verbo al principio mm -hmm. cuando es interrogación, ¿verdad? Teacher? Correct. El, the auxiliary verb is going to be at the beginning of the question. Okay, now let's continue. Okay, there you have some sentences using was. Let's see, uh, Berosli, read the first one, please. Mm. I was very strong when I was 17, but now I am weak. I am weak. Okay, Marcos, next. I was very shy. In shy. Shy. I was very shy in kindergarten, but now I make friends easily. Thank you. Nelson. I was a very angry kid, but now I get along with everybody. Awesome. Awesome. Now, let's see. Amalia, next. I was, I was very hungry. Angry. Oh, very hungry, big kid, but now I get along with everybody. I get along with everybody. Heriberto, next. I was in shape when I was 18, but now I go to the gym. Thank you. Jenny Marisol. She was very smart in was language. It? What is it? In language, but not she is an expert. An expert. An expert. Lillian. 
she wasn't talent, but now talented. Talented. Okay. She wasn't talented, but now she can sing very well. Thank you. Miriam, next. She was lazy, but she lazy. Is lazy, but she is a very talented developer. Developer. Okay, Gabriel. He was a jerk, but he seems like a nice guy. Thank you. Jenny Lisseth. He was attractive, but now he is an, an addict. An addict. Amalia. She was a happy girl, but now... She is a grumpy old man. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Let's continue. Okay. So, Nelson, I'm going to ask you the next question. However, I want you to see this other structure. The first one, this structure was for just no questions. So if I okay. ask you, if I ask you, Nelson, uh, this question, were you at the park? What will be your answer? I wasn't. Okay, negative, right? I wasn't. If it is positive? I was. Okay, remember, if you are going to say negative, you need to say, no, I wasn't. If it is positive, okay. yes, I was. Yes, I was in the park. Cle uh, okay, is that clear? Clear. Cool. Um, Marcos, was he at the park or was Henry at the park? What would be your answer? No, he wasn't. I said Henry, I'm he sorry, was. that's Nelson. Okay, was he at the park? Uh, no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Thank you. Um. Were we, were we online yesterday, Jose Heriberto? Were we online yesterday? No, we wasn't yesterday. Are you sure we wasn't? Look, look at here. We wasn't? No, we weren't. Aha. Uh -huh. no, Why? We because yeah. where is yeah. with we? No, yes. we weren't. We weren't. Aha. Uh -huh. If the the answer is positive, what will be your answer? Yes, we were. Yes, we were. Excellent. Amalia. Um let's see. Were you at work today in the morning? No, to weren't. No, no. weren't. Mm -mm. Were you? Were estuviste you? Were... en tu trabajo no. hoy en la mañana? I weren't. Mm -mm. I were? Yes, yes, I was. Yes. Yes, I were. Porque oh, no. I were. I was, I mire, was mire, yes. Or yes, mire cómo I was. Se, mire I cómo was. se fusiona el I. Ah, eso le iba a preguntar. Que en la otra está where. Pregunta con where. Y la respuesta es con was. Ajá, porque yo le estoy diciendo a usted. Si usted lo traduce al español. Were you at work today in the morning? Ahí le está preguntando. Estuviste en tu trabajo. Hoy en la mañana, entonces su respuesta va a decir, yes, 
I was. Yes, I was. Oh, no. Ah. I was. I wasn't. ¿Por qué? Porque usted está diciendo yo sí o yo no. Yo no, okay. Pero si usted I me was. dice, si usted me dice, yes, you were, ahí no me está respondiendo correctamente porque lo que me está diciendo es tú no. Mm -hmm. O oh, no, you weren't. Ahí me está diciendo, perdón, en la primera opción sería si sí, eh, estuviste o no estuviste en la segunda. Pero Ok. ahí no me está respondiendo correctamente porque yo le estoy preguntando sobre usted. Ok. Como que en Eh. español yo le diga, eh, ¿comió pupusas? Usted me va a decir, Yes. no, no comí. No. O Ok. sí, sí comí. Pero si yo le digo, comí pupusas, y usted me responde, no, no comiste, no tiene sentido, ¿verdad? Ah, correcto. Uh -huh. Así que sí. I, I Teacher. was, I was. Uh -huh. Yes. Teach, teacher. Uh -huh. Y si quisiera decirle, no estuviste en la mañana en la casa. You were not at home in the morning. No estuviste No en la mañana. pasáramos, no pasamos el weren al principio, no. ¿Por qué? No, porque ahí ya dije. Por como, You were pero not. no como algo, es como, como que fuera una pregunta, no se puede, no. Eh. Ah, si va a ser una pregunta, va a decir, Were you at home in the morning? Were you at home in the morning? Pero si va a ser negativa, una eh, expresión afirmativa o negativa, o sea, decir, you weren't at home in the morning. Pero eso nos pregunta y es un, Es como una una oración, afirmación, ¿verdad? una, confirma, una afirmación, correcto. Ajá, Sí, Marcos. no, no estuviste, no estuviste en la mañana. Ajá, En Marcos, tu casa. correcto. Yes, eh, gramaticalmente Uh -huh. veo acá la diferencia de were y weren't sin la H. ¿Es porque es muda? ¿No hay ningún problema? ¿O cuál es la diferencia? Weren't, weren't. Ah, porque la diferencia es que cuando usted usa el W, H, la E, la R y la E, esta es la W, H para hacer una pregunta de el lugar, where, dónde. Pero acá, este no está funcionando como una pregunta de... Eh, no es una WH word. Este es un auxiliar. Es el pasado de... ¿De qué dijimos? El verbo to be. Del verbo to be. El verbo to be. Exacto. Y ya vimos la primera eh, pantalla como ejemplo. Acá. Dijimos que para decir estoy en el presente, usted dice I am. I am. Pero, pero en el pasado usted dice I was. I was. Para decir ella, recuerden que el, el verbo to be es ser o estar. Ser como usted se siente, ¿sí? su sentimiento, su estado de ánimo. Estar en donde se encuentra. ¿sí? Mm -hmm. Entonces, acá le dice usted, ella es, él es, eso es. Pero en el pasado, usted dice, she was, he was, he was. ¿Sí? Y acá, usted dice, ellos son, nosotros somos, ustedes somos. O ellos, ellos están, nosotros estamos, ustedes están. ¿Sí? Pero en el pasado, este, where, es el pasado de are. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Es el pasado de Ana. Un auxiliar, ¿verdad? Entonces sería... Es un auxiliar. Entonces, terminando de, de hacer la respuesta, eh, ya, ya respondo a tu pregunta, Nelson. Va, entonces, usted dice en el presente, they are, we are, you are. 
estamos, eh, ellos están, nosotros estamos, ustedes están, ¿sí? En el pasado usted dice, they were, we were, you were. Ellos estuvieron, nosotros estuvimos, ustedes estuvieron. ¿Estamos? Ok. Mister, we, un, una, una oración podría ser, we were falling in love. We were, ah, pero ahí te estás metiendo en otra estructura porque estás utilizando el verbo falling con ing. Oh. Eso se llama pasado continuous. Y ahorita estamos usando el pasado de, del verbo to be, que es el was and where. Eso que acabas ¿Cómo? de mencionar es un tema totalmente aparte de este, que siempre se oh. utiliza el was and where, pero con el verbo en ing. Pero eso es otra cosa. Oh. Que no quiero oh, meterme yeah, en eso porque yeah. no quiero que se confunda. Ahorita solo lo que quiero es que se enfoque en que el was y el where solo es el, el pasado del verbo to be, ser y estar. Como que usted diga, yo estoy o yo soy. Pero en el pasado usted va a decir, I was, you were. ¿Sí? Yo, yo, yo estuve, yo fui. Ajá, correcto. I, I was your, usted puede decir, I was your I teacher. Was your Your teacher, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Fui tu, ah. estu su, tu docente. Y usted puede decir, uh -huh. I was your student. Fui tu estudiante. Uh -huh. y, che, y es lo mismo decir yo era. Es lo mismo, es diferente. Yo era, ajá. Yo era, yo fui, yo estuve. Vaya, se nos pasó. Eh, las preguntas siempre las dejo de último. <risa> Pero eh, sí. ya se nos pasó el tiempo. Así que este, nos vamos a quedar hasta acá. Mañana. Vamos a continuar mañana. Este, ahorita solo hemos logrado avanzar con el yes no question del was and where. Mañana vamos a continuar con el wh word y el was and where. ¿Ok? Mañana vamos a continuar. Chero, no tenemos sé. programado clase. Perdón. Hasta, ¿Hasta, el, hasta el jueves. Y de ahí hasta quedan jueves, vacaciones, sí. según lo que le, logré leer. Quedamos okay. en vacaciones, mejor dicho. Ajá. <ríe> si no han terminado la plataforma, termínenla. Creo que Correcto. Si no han día. terminado la plataforma, termínenla. Y se van a comer un churro en la temporada. Ya, de... comiencen, a mandar, <ríe> comiencen a mandar también los formularios, porque si no se van a quedar sin cupo. Ah, Buenísimo. gracias Nelson por la información. Vaya, entonces no les quito más tiempo. Vamos a tener toda esta semana para seguir practicando. Si no han cenado, buen provecho. And see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.